Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today is going to be another video about how to calculate inbreeding coefficient and basically in this video I'm going to show you theory what is the inbreeding and how we calculate inbreeding coefficient. So imagine that we have um, individual A, individual B and individual C. Individual A and B mate and would produce individual uh, D. And also individual B and C would mate and produce individual E. And then individual D and E would mate and would produce individual F. So now we have to find uh, how inbreed individual F. So the same line uh, diagram uh, we can represent as uh, another uh, variant of the pedigree. For example, we have female here, two males, and one female has these two different males, uh, children of the different sex, and these children would mate and would produce progeny F. So what we see here is the same what we see here on the right. Now imagine that each uh, animal here, uh, animal uh, is deployed, so for some particular gene would have two different alleles, so would be uh, heterozygous or would be uh, outbreed. And as you see, this is would be opposite to individual F uh, that is going to be uh, inbreed. So, uh, Let's say genotype of the individual A would be A1 and A2. This is the same gene A, but represented by two uh, alleles A1 and A2. So different versions of the same gene. And individual B also would be uh, genotype A3 and A4. And individual C would be genotype A5 and A6. Now let's uh, find out what genotypes possible for individual D. One parent genotype is A1 and A2 and another parent genotype is A3 and A4. So when we build a simple Punnett square we would be able to find all the possible genotypes in their progeny. So A1 and A3, one of the genotypes possible. So let's uh, list it here. A1, A3, then A1, A4, so A1, A4, another genotype possible A2, Two and A3. So A2 and A3. And the last variant would be A2 and A4. So A2 and A4. Now let's list all the possible genotypes for individual E. Individual E parents would be individual B and C. Individual B genotype A3 and A4 and individual A5 or individual C genotype would be A5 and A6. Once again we built a simple Punnett square and now we can find all the possible genotypes in their progeny. So first variant would be a5, A3, so let's put it here, A5, A3, then A5, A4, A5, A4, then A6, and A3, A6, and A3, and uh, another variant would be A6 
and a4. So a6 and a4. Now let's find inbreeding coefficient. Last step would be uh, to find probability that individual f would have two same alleles that came from one parent and from the other parent. And let's uh, consider is it can be a1 allele. Of course individual f can get a1 allele from one parent but as you see parent uh, e doesn't have this allele. So individual f cannot be uh, homozygous for a1 allele. Let's now consider a3 allele. Individual d has a3 allele. We see it twice here. So here and here. And individual e also may have a3 allele. Also we can see it twice. And now let's think about uh, other variants. Uh, for example a4 allele. So we can see it here and here in these two genotypes. And individual E also has uh, A4 allele. And as for the A5, individual E has A5 allele, but uh, we do not see this allele here. And A6 allele also we can find only individual E. So individual F uh, can be uh, homozygous for uh, A1, or sorry, A3 allele, A3 and A3, one allele this individual can get from one parent and another allele can get from the other parent. And also this uh, individual F can be uh, homozygous for A4 allele, so can be A4 and A4. Once again, uh, A4 allele, uh, this individual can get from one parent and also can get from the other parent. Let's now do uh, the last step uh, of our calculations. What is the probability that individual F would have genotype A3, A3? So parent D uh, may have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight alleles uh, in different combinations and two out of eight or one quarter probability that this uh, individual D would, would pass this allele A3 to uh, its progeny. Uh, so the probability that it's going to come from individual D would equal to one quarter. What is the probability that uh, individual E also would give second A3 allele. Once again uh, we see four genotypes here and out of eight alleles two alleles would be allele A3. So two out of eight or one out of four. So probability that individual would be A3, A3 genotype would be one quarter multiplied by one quarter. So probability would be 1 out of 16. And now let's find also probability that individual F would be homozygous for A4, A4 alleles. Uh, two alleles out of eight uh, probability to get from uh, parent D or one quarter, one quarter. And the same probability would be to get uh, a4 allele from other parent 2 out of 4 or 1 quarter. So once again we have to multiply this independent probabilities and we are going to get a probability of the genotype A4 A4 for the uh, individual F would be 116. And now final uh, calculation would be to add these two probabilities. So 116 plus 1 uh, 16 would give us um, 1 8 and this is going to be uh, probability for individual F to be uh, homozygous for uh, A3 allele or A4 allele. 
So inbreeding coefficient of the individual f would be 1 8. And now express method how to calculate in seconds uh, inbreeding coefficient. And here is a formula 1 half raised uh, number of nodes. So raised n and number of nodes here would be uh, 1, 2 and 3. We do not put a and c because uh, individual a and c are not in this loop. So we only uh, count uh, how many nodes are in the loop that leads to the uh, common ancestor individual b excluding uh, individual f as a node. So uh, we only count uh, all the nodes except uh, individual that is our proband for whom we are uh, calculating uh, inbreeding coefficient. So according to what we see here we have to uh, multiply one half by itself three times or in a power of three we are going to get one eighth. The same answer that we got before but this time it only took us few seconds. But nevertheless I show you for 10 minutes how to do all the calculations so now you know uh, the logic behind what uh, inbreeding means. And now you know that inbreeding means uh, probability for proband to be homozygous for the same allele that he got from the common ancestor through the mother side and father side. So inbreeding means uh, probability to be homozygous for certain allele that came from the common ancestor. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.